Who is appearing in item 37? He's a lordship. But yes. this is a transfer petition. What's your name, ma'am? Ranjal Chapragaonkar. Ranjal Chapragaonkar. All right. Yes. Lordship, this is a transfer petition. I'm seeking transfer of divorce proceedings filed by husband from Bangalore to Nanded in Maharashtra. The distance is approximately 740 kilometers. Is there any child from the marriage? Yes, Your Lordship. There is a three year old who is residing with me. Service is complete? Service is complete, Your Lordship. <laughs> so the proceedings. Much obliged. Thank you. Pilots. Item such yeah, a transfer petition. Service is complete. Seeking transfer millet from Bangalore to Kadapa. There are two petitions. The custody petition. Child custody petition. Yes. I am objecting to the transfer. Yes. Yes. I am appearing for the respondent. Yes. On what ground are you objecting? My Lord, it is violating section 9 of Guardians and Wards Act, my Lord. Section 9 clearly specifically says. It. There are two petitions, my Lord. One is seeking to resolution of conjugal rights. The second one is guardian under the Guardians and Wards Act. Which he has filed for us. Yes, my lord. And the child resides with me. So the child cannot be imposed hardships, my lords. It would be very difficult for the child to roam here and there. What do you do in uh, Kadapa? Kadapa, I'm a... She is not working, my lord. She is residing with the parents. Be willing to go to mediation. How long have you been? Mediation has failed, my lord. Mediation has failed, my lord. Oh, the jurisdiction clause doesn't affect the transfer proceeding because transfer is in pursuance of our uh, inherent power to transfer. Even if jurisdiction is validly before the court at Bangalore, we can always transfer from Bangalore to Kadapa. Lord, so the child is staying with the uh, with the yes, father. Lord. Ordinary it, resides. How old is the child? Oh, yes, uh, he's around eight order. years. No, I think 17th of August 20, the child was born, right? Yes, ma'am. Sorry, ma'am. About four years old. Four years old. <laughs> Section 25 is general law, my lords, and section 9 is a special law, and special law will supersede any day. Will you be able to appear through video conferencing mode? Because, yes, my lords, so we will not transfer, but we will give you opportunity leave to appear through video conferencing. Two is we'll transfer the restitution of conjugal rights petition. Very well. Right? On the guardianship, because the child is with the father, that we will not transfer. But we'll say whenever you are required to be present in, in Bangalore, we will give you litigation expenses. Very Can you well. quantify it here? Lordship, I'm not sure about that. We pass an order. What is your client doing? Lordship is an IT employee. Working where? In some in Bangalore, uh, software company, my lords, in Bangalore. In Bangalore, yes. in Mangalore or Bangalore? Bangalore. Bangalore, yes. So, yes. do we tell him to pay you 10,000 rupees every time you have to go to Bangalore for uh, for, for attending the pro court proceeding? And yes. we'll also give you permission to appear through video conferencing. But for guardianship, you may have to interact with the court, may have to interact with the child once or twice. So, yes. so Very well, yes. we will allow the restitution uh, petition. On the guardianship, we'll say that uh, the court is apprised of the fact that the transfer petition is for the transfer of the uh, custody proceedings under the Guardian and Wards Act from the family court in Bangalore to the family court at Kadapa. Stop. Uh, the child who was born on 17 August 2020 uh, resides with the respondent, her mother, father. This view of the matter, it may not be appropriate having regard to the best interest of the welfare of the child to transfer the proceeding uh, as sought uh, from Bangalore to Kadapa. 
However, we direct that on every occasion that the petitioner is required to be present for the court proceedings at uh, Bangalore, at the family court Bangalore, um, the respondent shall pay to the petitioner a lump sum of rupees 1000 per hearing. The petitioner would also be at liberty, subject to the permission of the family court Bangalore, to appear through video conference. Plus, may grant me liberty to file application seeking visitation rights, my lord, sir. That you, why do you require liberty? That liberty always has. Well, last me kindly answer. Sorry, you can always Lush. file. We are not to you. Yeah. Grateful, your sir. This is for transfer from the principal judge, family court, Hazari Bag, to the principal judge, family court, Saran. My lord. My lord, I am appearing for cases are pending. Yes, the DV Act and the maintenance petitions yes, are pending in uh, Saran. My lord, ma'am, I'm even my for... lord, the family court has directed under uh, to pay 5,000 rupees monthly under section 24. They are not paying only, they have, I suppose, the counter, they have deposited 15,000, 10,000 as a litigation fee and 5,000. My lord, I am appearing for husband and I object to that. Uh, precisely for the reason that the when I started paying, she had filed this transfer petition here. When I was paying the maintenance and the pendency litigation cost, uh, I deposited the, with the court. She started. She filed this transfer petition here and got a stay. Secondly, the evidence uh, the from the petitioner side, the evidence has been completed and it's at a very belated stage. Thirdly, there is a provision for video conferencing, my lord, at both the places. Let the husband allow to through video conferencing. See, but all three cases are um, to appear through video conferencing. Hmm? Yes. No, no, not yes. transfer the case because she is a very poor. See, although she is no, an advocate, but not regularly. Advocate. She is an advocate, the, my lord, but and not she, regular practicing. She is a very in poor condition. She, I think she is online also. On she PC, first, my lord can. My lord, she yeah. has. He participated there after also yeah, on several occasions. We will allow you to appear through video conference. Okay. And then 40. Deeply obliged. Yes, my lecture. The mediation report, I think. Yes, my lecture. Yes, 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 mediation is on, ongoing. Yes, your lecture. The, the interim report of the mediator indicates that parties are actively engaging in the mediation proceeding. And uh, List on. Should we keep it sometime in the first week of December? Yes, your lordship. Yes, my lord. Yes. First week. Lord forty-one. May please, my lords. I am appearing on behalf of the husband. Hello, this is a transfer permission. The bar to Amravati. Amravati, Maharashtra. Your client, go for the respondent. Please, my lord. Your client is employed in the U.S., so whether it's at Ahmedabad or Amravati, it doesn't matter. My lord, just two submissions, my lord. On that front, my lord, currently the client is unfortunately unemployed because my lord, he had to leave his job to care for his aged parents who are more than 80 years old. So my lord, he's currently living with them in Ahmedabad. My lord, as far as the transfer is concerned, my lord, there are two objections. Firstly, my lord, the mamaji of the petitioner, he is involved in some illegal liquor smuggling business and he's given some death threats to my client. And yeah, I'm please, my lord, the mamaji, my lord, uh, yes, my lord, uh, three grounds. First of all, my lord, uh, my father is diseased, my mother is suffering from serious medical condition, and she cannot walk. Her medical certificate is on record, so I cannot leave her alone. Secondly, my lord, I have no uh, financial earnings whatsoever. He has a green card, my lord, in the from, from the United States. Working there for 18 years, so he has sufficient monetary resources available at his disposal. And it's just one more submission. And thirdly, my lord, there is, there are precedents where uh, if the husband feels threatened on whatever ground, real or imaginary, he can always seek police protection. And uh, the law is my lord. The... My lord, so just two points. My lord, first thing as far as a very civilized place. <laughs> my lord, two submissions. Every my lord. As far as the threat is concerned, my lord, the Honorable Bombay High Court has observed that the mamaji is a habitual offender involved in liquor smuggling business. My lord, no, that's a mere allegation. And my lord, secondly, secondly, my lord, just one more submission, my lord. Any other place except Amravati, my lord. If it is Indore, Bombay, Pune. All right, Indore yes. is eight hours away. My lord. My lord, Nagpur can be done, my lord, I'll consent to that. But my lord, I prefer Amravati because my mother is uh, right. indisposed, Nagpur my lord. Nagpur will be no, neither good for him nor good for you. So is that threat my lord, her medical certificate is on record. She cannot walk. 
Mind us at least VC maybe. Oh, yes, VC. You are permitted to appear through video. Oblige. Oblige, man. Normally, I request the Attorney General uh, after the board is over on a ceremonial bench day. <laughs> For me, it's the yeah. first occasion to be on a ceremonial <laughs> so When you have so many things to say, suddenly you find you're in a vacuum. And uh, on the lighter side, before I left my chamber wondering what will I speak in this crowded theater, Two things came to my mind. It was recently in Brazil after the conference was over. At the lunchtime, everybody begins to dance. It's a wonderful thing to see people dancing, to see a good conference ending. So I looked at the crowded theater here. And what if I request all my sisters and brothers to celebrate your Lordship's presence with us by a good dance? <laughs> and I think there will be a good vote in my favor. I suppose so. <laughs> But that's on a, on, a, on a lighter note. I was wondering as I came here, what would I speak? I, I penned down a few words on my mobile. Permit me to read that. When dear ones depart, as children in wedlock, warm tears do fill our eyes. When those in wedlock of law and justice do depart, who fill the pages of justice high, more than tears fill our mind and hearts. My heart is a special place for the doctor of justice, whose mind, as I know, has mansions many and paths wide to ever know the spread and cause of human needs and to script as best as one can answers generous, resolutions new. The bench with him bore a warmth of rare, dialogue with him were a Socratic of sorts. I have no mind to bid a farewell as done in ways humdrum, my friendship long clashed not with his judgeship rare, and I reserve my undrying words of love for many, many days of narration. Thank you so much. Lots, uh, it's a painful thing, Mulat, to say such a few words, Mulat. Uh, your Lordship's family is here. And uh, except the two sons, Mulat, who are in the profession, they would never know what it means to be Justice D.Y. Chandrachur. But they have been here for you know, two hours, three hours, but it's too short a time to realize, my Lord, uh, what it means to be uh, Justice Dr. Chandrachur. Why I say this? Had they knew about it, they would have really understood what is their gain and what is our loss. My Lord, we have always been, my Lord, uh, feeling very, very pleasant, my Lord, appearing before your Lordships. Your Lordships' court conduct, your Lordships' demeanor in the court, the way in which your Lordships would hear all of us, my Lord, irrespective of the age group, uh, my Lord, is exemplary. My Lord, not to speak of, my Lord, uh, unmatched scholarship or, my Lord, intellect or, uh, my Lord, complete impartiality in dispensation of justice. Uh, Lord, we never felt hesitant whether it's a good matter or a bad matter, Lord. Lord, there are several cases which we did before, Lord. We had an opportunity to assist your Lordship with. And uh, for the government, my Lord, we won some cases. We lost many cases. But not in one case, my Lord, we uh, got a feeling that we could not convey what exactly is our submission. Accepting, not accepting is entirely the court's discretion. But we were fully satisfied that we were fully heard, patiently heard, understood the way we wanted to present the things. And that's all, my Lord, a lawyer my Lord, expects from the court. My Lord. My Lord, another thing, my Lord, which uh, would stand out, my Lord's my Lord has taken a stand always, my Lord, whenever my Lord, the circumstances demanded that as a head of the institution, as a karta of Lord, the judicial family, the legal family, the Lordship takes the stand. My Lords, my Lord, have taken the stand. And now, my Lord, then I am addressing your Lordships for the last time in this uh, courtroom, my Lord. May I take the liberty of saying that DYC would really be missed. Well, as, uh, 
what can I say? Um, you are the extraordinary son of an extraordinary father. I've practiced in this court for 52 years now. And I, in my life, have never seen a judge with the kind of limitless patience that you have. The ever smiling Dr. Chandrachud. That smile will be etched in our hearts for years to come. What can I say about you as a human being and you as a judge? As a judge, your conduct was exemplary. No one can match it. Your reaching out to communities in this country who were never heard before, who were not seen before. You brought them before you and showed what dignity means for them. That is your greatest contribution to the profession. And you know, we are talking about domestic issues and marriages. There is a deep, deep emotional connect between members of the bar and the judges. And that marriage can never result in a divorce. Never. For the simple reason that we are both, all both of us wedded to the values that we espouse, the values of our constitution. And no matter which area of the law you have touched, you have left an indelible mark which will be not forgotten for years to come, be it liberty, be it fraternity, be it life, be it the life of ordinary, marginalized, challenged people. You have your father dealt with the court when the court was tumultuous. You have dealt with the court when matters were tumultuous. You took them head on, unafraid of the consequences. Your greatest legacy to this court, that there will be none like you that will adorn that chair for years to come. Thank you very much. Chief Justice and members of the bench, so difficult to speak because so many memories flood me. But since I've been accused of pointillism, let me first start by saying that I have yet to come across, and I've spent not as much as Mr. Sibbal, but 42 years in the profession, a person as industrious as you. I know your industry 42 years ago, so it's not a surprise to me. But I expected that degree of a bull and a horse combined to diminish with age. Now that I'm older than all of you, Willis, I certainly ex experience a diminished energy. It appears your Lordship's energy has increased in those 42, 44 years from what I saw then. And uh, I have talked in my original lecture when you took office of Revenge Academia, when we saw some degree of that energy and industry. But I am astonished at the amount you have put in here on the bench and elsewhere in the high courts. Secondly, somebody talked of patience. There is a statue of patience. I think you exceed that. At 4 o'clock, at 4.15, with this huge crowd taking different points, you still managed beyond time to listen to us, to listen to us with absorption. And never have I seen you losing your patience despite grave provocation, to a fault. Thirdly, I think you have done more for technology and infrastructure of this court than many, many people. I personally was a critic when I saw the construction going on outside. I mentioned it to some other people also. And I then experienced, when it was over, the clear comfort. And then I went outside and looked and I saw also the facade was very well preserved. This is a small example of the various efforts you've made about technology and infrastructure. And today, if VC is institutionalized in this country, I think it's entirely because of you, both as a puny judge and then as a chief justice. 
sir judges are ultimately for authorship of judgments you have plucked out constitution benches nine judges and laid them to rest this way or that way mostly with your own authorship you've done that with a lot of other off bench activities lectures travel but you've sat here you worked and you've written judgments which is the primary job of a judge and that i think is no mean apart from teaching us at least some people on this side the use of the ipad when we did five or six back to back constitution benches some of us have not yet fully learnt it but i have i have and we were just mr mehta and i were deploring that your lordship has destroyed our pe my pen collection because i write very little less with the pen now but you can part <laughs> <laughs> lastly sir there are very many more things i can speak about but uh, you must let out many of your secrets as a practitioner and as a judge but one secret you must part with is the elixir of youth <laughs> everybody whom we know from that time 42 years ago complains that you continue to look the youngest <laughs> and unfortunately your youthful looks make us feel the oldest <laughs> so that secret you must tell us off the bench at least lord the chief all the very best to you lord major lord i <clears throat> lord this has been an era of erudition Inte intellectually lord vibrant but most important for a lawyer in the bar including young members of the bar nobody has gone away from this court without feeling that he has not been heard the lordship has heard everybody till 4 o'clock 5 o'clock the lordship deliver order that's fine but what a lawyer requires my lord is is the fact that he has been heard his client feels that his lawyer my lord should be heard that has been exemplary apart from the lordship's judgments my lord delivered on 5 7 and 9 judges etc but going back my lord in memory <clears throat> I first met the Chief Justice Milord when he was an ASG in Bombay, and I was an ASG Milord in this court. I'm talking about the year 2000 and so Milord, 1992. We did some cases together, and Milord, the reference to pens reminds me that I took his Lordship Milord across the High Court. There's a pen store there, Absara Pen Mart. I used to buy pens from there, and we used to have lunch Milord right behind Milord Absara Pen Mart. But a quarter of a century has gone. I hope the grass is greener now, my lord. It's become pretty droughty, so to say. And I will take his lordship, my lord, back to some lunches, my lord, when I am in Bombay. That is what, my lord, I would like his lordship, my lord, to have a very, very uh, great, my lord, second innings. I don't know where the innings will be, my lord, Delhi, Bombay, wherever. But wherever it is, my lord, his lordship will be welcome to this court, at least to meet us in the canteen, have a cup of coffee, move around, because you have actually, my lord, you are a product of the bar. You are not a product of the district judiciary, so I wish his lordship and his family well, <clears throat> and all the best to his lordship. Okay. But I want to end by saying, Milord, I welcome Justice Khanna. I have a special Milord relationship for the fact that he comes from my High Court, and Milord, our our High Court has had a Chief Justice here more than 15 years ago, Justice Abharwal. So I welcome his lordship, Milord Justice Khanna, who will take over. Thank you. Thank you. May you please follow. A judicial career of almost 25 years is unheard of. and not many will be part of this exclu ex exclusive club the bandwidth of subjects dealt by you constitution civil criminal commercial economic laws regulatory arbitration public interest environment and every evolutionary law and the list is just never ending the spectrum of people whom you have shaped or evolved or matured starting from interns researchers scholars academicians aspiring counsels rising stars of the bar and those who have become exalted seniors your temperament can be conveyed through five c's calm cool composed neither critical nor condemning your usp will be remembered as a front runner in propagating the doctrine of transformatory constitution touching not only the lives of citizens but every species which is assured of a constitutional safeguard interactions with the bar your mind has swung between appealing touch and healing touch your core nature a record breaker growth in its creation 
of judgments and breaking your own records by surpassing it. And do not carry success into your head and therefore remain very simple and interactive. Discharge of power. Never authoritative and extremely careful in dispensing discretion. Judgment writing. May it be a small or a big or an important judgment. It would contain a value add and definitely contain self-researched references and the ratios evolved would sustain for a long period with penetrative angularities unheard of earlier. Maximum number of constitutional benches, nine, seven, five, as known to history in the last few decades. Leadership abilities, ability to get along with anyone and everyone and bring about a consensus guiding to synchronization. Administrative milestones, digitization and technological advancements may be e-courts, priswagatam or case management. Being instrumental in the construction, the initiative of the new Supreme Court building, national mission for delivery of justice and legal reforms. And Lord, the finer touch, the human touch is the unique Miti Kefi initiative for the challenged. Before I close, my Lord, I should tell you one short story which has traveled Yugas and will continue to travel. A father and a son decided to buy a young horse and they did buy. And uh, they first thought this horse before training should not be got, got into it. And therefore, they started to walk with the horse. So a set of people ridiculed, you buy a horse to make it walk along with you. So the father decided to put the son on the horse. Somebody said, old pairs of legs are made to walk, young can do. So he decided to step into the horse and drop the young man. After a while, one more person said, old man has the strength to walk. Why should you allow the youngster to walk? So they decided both should ride on the horse. And a young horse, the fourth set of people said, why allow all of both these, horse, both these people to sit on a horse and down? Perplexed father and son decided to carry a pole, tie the horse and start carrying with them, which was, became an act of mockery. Democracy will have multiple perspectives, multiple views, short-term view, medium-term view and long-term view. I had the privilege of appearing in your Lordship's Court since 2007. 17 years I've been appearing in your Lordship's Court. To put it in one sentence, you have been an extraordinary human being and an extraordinary judge. And my Lord, you have been flying great heights in the domestic circuits. Now it's an opportunity for you to fly high in the international circuits and showcase to this world what a chief justice of this Indian Supreme Court mean to the world. We thank you for all that you have done to everybody, to everyone here, and we welcome the incumbent, Honorable Chief Justice. Best of praise to your lordships, if you're obliged. Please, your lordships. I'll be brief because there are so many people who are wanting to speak. <laughs> your contributions, your lordship, as a judge and the Chief Justice of India are okay. dynamic, sure. commendable, and memorable. My lords, you will be missed physically, but you will always be remembered and you will always be there through your judgments, through your speeches, which are always thought provoking, and your work. I wish your lordship very happy and prosperous and healthy future. Thank you, Lord. Lord, Lord the Chief Justice. Uh, Mr. Sibyl has told about your youthful looks. The secret squarely is on yoga that you practice. And we saw it on the yoga day where you said that you get up at 4.30 in the morning. And how do you last the whole day in court and still recharge batteries at the end? We just have to admire your patience, your hard work, and the whole body of work that you've done, 620 judgments, 1,726 benches, my lords have had it in Supreme Court. You have laid the, you have raised the bar to such a level that it will be very tough to follow you. We wish you all the best of health and happiness. Lord Sib, <clears throat> when uh, actually the bar functions used to be in the lawns here, and it was a difficult time for the bar associations. We prayed, Lord Sib, and fortunately, Justice Honorable Justice Sanjeev Khanna and Honorable Justice Levi Chanjur were there. Both of them decided 
that functions can be held at the auditorium and because of you only this function is started happening uh, in the auditorium lordship we have seen in each and every occasion whenever we requested anything for the bar lordship went extra mile and he tried to resolve the issue with all the uh, respect to the bar and everything my lord one great con uh, contribution is that this virtual hearings and then the entire uh, record, uh, recordings are available on YouTube. It brings a larger transparency. And most of the young students, young lawyers, without even visiting the Supreme Court and other courts, they can observe and see. Honorable Justice Sanjeev Khannaji is the person who is going to have the baton now. And we have seen his wisdom. And I know that all the good steps taken by Lordship will be carried forward. And I wish all the best to Honorable Lordship. Please, my lord. Uh, Lord, on, on behalf of Nani Palkewala National Law Club, uh, we wish a uh, uh, brighter uh, uh, future in I, uh, uh, ICJ and uh, uh, healthy and great life. <laughs> good wish. Good wish. <laughs> and also, we are welcoming to our new Chief Justice, incoming Chief Justice, Sanju Kannaji. Yes. Uh, yeah. Plus Rosalind Carter, yes. plus Rosalind Carter, who's the former first lady of uh, United States, said that leaders take the people where they want to go, and great leaders take people where they should go or ought to go, even though they may not want to go. So your lordships, as the head of this institution, has taken us in a direction, has pulled us out of our lethargy, and take us in a direction which is for the institution going to hold it in great stead for years to come, be it technology or be it something as innocuous as increasing the salary of Mullers, the law clerks, which is So Mullers, we'll of course miss your uh, reassuring. Uh, not just in this court, in, it, in all the courts you'll actually preside never had a worry and that's true for young counsel senior counsel anybody as to how you would be treated outcome is immaterial but it was the most calming court uh, most of us have ever appeared in so you'll be sorely missed but i just want to say thank you my lord okay. chief may it please may it please to not yeah. everybody is wanting to say so many things i heard every one of them and i said in fact when mr sibel spoke i thought he has actually brought out whatever we wanted to tell your lordship lord in fact there's too many emotions that is coming out very few words can be said now, my lord. In fact, we always came to this court with a lot of hope. And every time, so much expectations, in fact, expecting much more than what could be granted in a case also. But your lordships, like now Shadan said, composed us, gave us a lot of indulgence, heard us fully well, and what best justice can be given was given in all those cases, especially in the matters of women commission and <clears throat> permanent commission women members. We had argued, not we have fought so much in this honorable court, testing the patience of this court also, my lord, but your lordships have been really patient. And my lord, is coming to the welfare of the women members and the downtrodden and the underprivileged in this country also, my lord. Everybody will remember your lordships and bless your lordships forever, my lord. We feel that our interests have been carried, uh, uh, carted to, my lord, in a best manner that is possible. And I feel that we request also Justice Sanjeev Karna to be the Chief Justice, uh, that, the, um, that the legacy will be carried forward. And my lord, we expect a lot, my lord, that your lordship will also Please cater to our needs of this, you know, the associations, the women association as well. You know. I'm just representing that also. Thank you very much. And you know, your lordship's knowledge and wisdom should not, you know, stay confined to the judicial section alone. You know. When your lordships retire, I feel that a lot of students and you know, the uh, people who are studying will be much you know, benefited if your lordships can share the knowledge that you have so far acquired. And you know, therefore, it could be in the interest of the entire nation, if you can put it down in writing also, my lord. We would also like to know your secret, you not know, of remaining young forever. <laughs> if I, may. I have a word. May I? Uh, your lordships have not be, just been an influence to Miloz, the members of the bar, Miloz, but to our families as well. My son, Miloz, has made this sketch, Miloz. Uh -huh. He is only 11 years old. And Miloz, when we saw this sketch and when we were reflecting on this, Miloz, we saw traces of Baba Sahib Ambedkar in this. In fact, he, Miloz, when he made this sketch, he thought he had made Baba Sahib Ambedkar along with your sketch, Miloz. And that's what your Lordship has carried forward, Miloz. Your Lordship has carried forward and advanced, Miloz, the cause of social justice. Miloz, we are very grateful for that. 
Miloj, my second message, Miloj, if my late father would have been here, Miloj, he would, in his own tradition, had sung a song for you, Miloj, for your long life. I'm not going to indulge in that, Miloj. I have not inherited his voice, but he would have sung this song, Tum Jiyo Hazaro Saal. I'm not going to sing that. <laughs> Third message, Miloj, from my side, deepest gratitude, Miloj, for your public service, Miloj, strengthening our institution and, Miloj, inspiring all of us. Very grateful. Very grateful. Yes. Uh, it's, a, it's ironic, uh, Chief Justice, that I'm here in this court. This is my first appearance here today, uh, this morning. And uh, unfortunately, this will be your last working day. I have known you on the administrative side. Most people don't know that. And uh, we've had interactions. Uh, I have uh, yet to see a judge who delegates uh, work, junior judges, and judges in the high court, the way you have in the administrative side which uh, gave uh, each one of them a lot of confidence and a sense that they were contributing to the institution as not just the Supreme Court, it's all over. So initiatives like, uh, you know, having uh, live stream hearings through a protocol, PC, <coughs> et cetera, et cetera. So this is one little story that I have about the chief. And permit me to share it. Whenever I used to meet uh, Madam Kalpana, in chamber, which was uh, very difficult given his uh, busy schedule. He would find time for us, uh, he would call us, but when he would call us, then there was no time limit and he would engage with us fully. So I asked him once, I said, Chief, how do you do it? I mean, you write judgments, you do so much of administrative work, and then you also find time for lectures. He gave me a very interesting answer, which all of us, I think, should absorb, which is, he said, Rajiv, when will I get the opportunity of doing what I want to do, what I need to do? This is something that we as judges sometimes miss. If you let time pass, then uh, you can always reflect in your old age, I could have done this, that, and the other. But I think this is one area where the chief would have no regrets. He's tried to utilize whatever time he had to the maximum possible. Like, actually, it was a 24 hour day was turned into a 48 hour day. Little do people understand, because I've been on the other side, that there are trials and tribulations as a judge. Uh, at times, uh, even if you want, you don't get the best outcome, because there are challenges you have to balance. And uh, I'm sure the chief would have had his moments of triumph, as all judges have moments of uh, days when it's not so happy. So I wish you the very best, Chief, now and forever. All that I can say is, uh, one little couplet, kisi ko mukammal jaha nahi milta, kisi ko zami aur kisi ko asma nahi. Thank you so much, Chief. The Lord should permit me to mention something. Lord, whenever we come to court, Sometimes we are tense. We feel there is a pressure of the clients, other things. But once we see your Lordship's face and smile, that we all lose and we are at home and we all argue our matters without any frame and without any difficulty. The second thing which I, in the, as a member of the bar, I can say, my Lord, I'm practicing here for the last 50 years. I've completed 50 years, my Lord. In the last 50 years, I have seen, my Lord, there are few judges which are remembered by everybody, and you will be one of them. And the second thing, which one more thing I will mention, my Lord, in the last 20 years, the biggest thing the bar was filling, the pendency of constitutional bench matters and larger bench matters. And your Lord has taken care of that in the last two years, and that will help my Lord Justice Khanna in the future to reduce the areas in this court. We should have so much. If I may, uh, it's been about, I think, a quarter of a century nearly since I remember the uh, courtroom 46 of the Bombay High Court the day you were sworn in, uh, along with Justice Bobre and Justice Khan Wilkar as well. And uh, I don't know whether... Uh, Today is even more, I think it's more overwhelming the crowds than even that day, which was very, very crowded. Um, 
it's it's been an amazing journey with your very uh, consistent yogic demeanor that you've had on the bench always. And if I may just add to what Mr. Rothke said, that no one ever went away uh, feeling that he was not heard. I'd add one word to that, that no one ever went away feeling that she was not heard. Yes. And yes. I think that is that is very, very important uh, uh, to many of us. Um, I'll, uh, you know, I wish you all the very best for the future. And I happen to see, of course, uh, uh, Mrs. Chandrachud here, but uh, also two younger Chandrachuds uh, who, uh, it, it's a very, uh, it's, it's something that has stuck in my head. Uh, I think very soon after I joined the bar, I was privileged to attend. I think it was a landmark um, in, in, in Mr. Khattu Cooper's uh, life. And I heard someone ask uh, a lady, and I didn't know that she was Mrs. Vaivi Chandrachud. He asked, how are your grandsons and what, what do they want to do? And she responded, she said, he wants to be former Chief Justice of India. <laughs> so, uh, uh, so that's what we will hope for the future. And all the very best and a very warm welcome to Justice Khanna. Thank you, Madhavan. Yeah, yeah, just... Uh, yeah. Go ahead. My Lord, Chief Justice, uh, there has been too much praise of your Lordship now, <laughs> and there has to be something said which is not on, which is unpalatable a little more. <laughs> so when your Lordships took oath in this court eight years ago, little more than eight years ago, my Lord, I couldn't attend it. Court was crowded. I was outside. Suddenly, my uh, after that oath, my Lord, my juniors came out. He said, "Sir, there is a judge in this court who looks even younger than you." appears to be more charming than you. I was very annoyed with that. So I said, let me go and see. So your lordships were sitting here on the first day. So I came, my lords. And slowly, slowly, my lords, what can I say? Your lordships have won my heart. Your lordships are younger than me in every way. More charming, beguiling charm, my lords. <laughs> Don't listen to any of these people. You know how senior advocates come up. They will fool you into passing any order, my lords. Not that your lordships could be fooled at any point of time. But I only pray, my lords, and good quality of a lawyer is that he should keep it short, the argument. So I wish your lordships all the best. Please come to us and visit us, my lords, so we can interact on a personal level with your lordships. Thank you, lord. May I please, your lordships? My, my lords, I, I'm assuming today must be an emotional day, my lords. Decades as a lawyer, decades as a judge. This must be an emotional day for your family as well, my lords. Ms. Sen is here. So I'm going to start with just a small piece of humor, my lords. So many years ago, when your lordship had first come to the court, a series of young lawyers who were watching my lords. So I asked the young lady next to me, which item number? She said, uh, no, I've just come to watch Justice and the truth. I said, that's very good. He's an eminent jurist, scholar. He has a wonderful temperament. She said, yes, yes, ma'am. He's also very handsome. <laughs> Chief Justice, for teaching us so many things, that you don't need to ever raise your voice to be heard, for your civility, your decency, for making folks who may otherwise not feel at home in this court, from communities, for making them feel more than welcome, for your jurisprudence, and for most of all, for being a wonderful human being. So thank you for your service to the law, to this court, to being a part of us as, an, as, a, as a guild, as, as legal professionals, and to Justice Khanna, a very warm welcome. As Chief Justice. My Lord Chief Justice, Lord, Chief Justice. My Lord, Chief Justice is very popular, and not among the bar, is among the entire country, my lord. And my lord is open the uh, uh, access to the common people to access the court, my lord, not in the Supreme Court, every court. Now I have a one matter in a Telangana High Court, but my lord has passed the service math of judgment, and I have an opportunity to appear in the Telangana. So this is the my lord, the tremendous job my lord is doing this, you know, so it, the, access the every people to access the justice, my lord. This is a great job, my lord. That's a great, thank you. Uh, like in all patch matters, I'll try not to repeat what my friends have said. I endorse everything they said, except when Mr. Dave seemed to suggest that we find him charming, which we don't. <laughs> so, <a lot> of... 
I just I just want to harp on two issues, your lordships. Uh, firstly, I mean, is the fact that the few occasions we did work along with the Supreme Court, whether it was on Lokadalet or the uh, law clerks moot, I saw the number of youngsters who are involved in the Center for Research and Planning, and there are so many of them. And it actually gladdens the heart that so many people are involved and they all feel very invested in the process. So I think one thing is a lot of youngsters have been taken along with your lordships when your lordship was there, to which we're all very, very grateful. The second thing I want to say is what Madhavi also mentioned that, I mean, a lot of people talk about women and the rights of women, but I think your lordship walked the talk and uh, we have never felt as seen and as heard as we did in your lordship's court. And I think now that has set the precedent and we're hoping that this will continue. I'm most grateful and I wish your lordship the very best. So, Great point is my lord. If your lordships, Malats. Malats, uh, uh, everyone, Malats, Malats, two lines, Malats. Everyone has Malats, talked about your intellectual act, Malats, uh, excellence at par, Malats. But I would like to add about your multifaceted Malats personality. Malats, people, the young ones call you the rock star chief justice, Malats. You are at much as ease, Malats, reading, Malats, uh, the, the reciting the Christmas carols along with the Ganesh Vandana, Malats. Malats, we are, proud, we are proud to be here, Malats. I practice in this court, Malats, in your era, Malats. Well, that's grateful, Malats. Wishing you all the best. And I'm my lordship, just, during the tenure uh, of my lordship, the uh, Supreme Court judgment starts at, uh, started to translate in the rural India. Nowadays, all over rural India, my lords, village, uh, village area, my lords, the dispensation of justice has been accelerated during my lordship tenure. It is the main point. Lordship, be, be miss you very much. And thank you. Thank you very much. My lords, uh, I, I, yeah. I, I, may it please your lordships. There's a lot has been said, my lords. I, it, it actually traverses most of what I had to say. But one thing that I want to say is that this particular period will be remembered for having given a helping hand to the underdog. And by the underdog, I mean both, whether it be the junior members of the bar who often need assistance in terms of not only encouragement and giving a patient hearing, but also giving some amount of leads to the learned junior to be able to actually shape his arguments better. We all uh, grew in our junior days on account of the kind of encouragement that we got from the judges of those days. And Malods, we saw that in your Lordship's tenure. The second aspect, insofar as helping of the underdog is concerned, is helping the underdog litigant. And one thing for which uh, I must make a special mention is the kind of uh, empowerment in so far as the lady officers in the services were concerned. I think that's, that's also a very telling, telling aspect of this particular era. So I wish your Lordship the best. I'll borrow a phrase, my Lords, used by my learned friend, the Solicitor General. And I think I speak for the entire bar when I say, my Lords, that you will be sorely missed. Yes. My lords, uh, as being uh, one of the wives from the marginalized community, my lords, when we had invited your lordship in the Dr. Ambedkar's the, the functions, and when your lordship accepted that invitation, no one believed, uh, or, or the lawyers never believed that any of the chief justice of India will come to such a program. And your lordship came and your lordship graced those occasions. On the other hand, my lords, we have seen in your lordship's tenure the installation of statue of Dr. Ambedkar. We are very grateful to your Lordship for installing the statue. And also, we have seen a scheduled tribe lawyer to become a judge. Even in the judgments, we have seen that your Lordships have taken and protected the uh, common people and all the marginalized people uh, through your judgments, my Lords. So we are very grateful, my Lords, and we are all the best to your Lordships. Future. Yes, yes. Lords, we've heard senior councils speak about the encouragement you've given to young councils. As a, as a young council, I can say that I can't echo that statement enough. We've been encouraged by your lordship on every count. You've, you've, you've helped us when we are in a difficult, tricky spot. Uh, you've always encouraged us and shown us the light path, and we are extremely grateful for that, my lords. And they say that heavy is the head that wears the crown, and your crown is not only in the position that you hold, my lords, but in terms of the empathy, the respect that you've shown to all the members of the bar and your internal kindness, my lords. We are very grateful for the, all the opportunities. Lordship, the there is a huge serpentine queue to express themselves of the lawyers. Right, at some point. <laughs> may, may I just, my lords, sir? May I, my lords, sir? Please don't go to the auditorium. We'll yes, yes, my lord. yeah. Only last, my lord. 
Nature few words. Yes, just two words, Suraj. Suraj, uh, I just want to mention an incident. I had appeared against uh, you, sir, in the 1960s or 70s in a matter which was argued in the Bombay High Court for a number of days. And you won and I lost. And therefore, Murad, I knew that you were a brilliant lawyer. Now, much later, your father asked me this so far as my, my son is concerned, should I uh, advise him to continue at the bar or opt for the judgeship? And I said, he's a brilliant lawyer. Therefore, he should continue at the bar. He will rise to the very top. But I was proven uh, proved wrong because you accepted the judgeship and you are here now. And if my advice had been followed, I think we would have lost a great Chief Justice. That's all I want to say. To my mind, Your Lordship, to my mind, Your Lordship, may I just say? Your Lordship, we will miss you, Lordship. You have made a history in our judiciary. Your contributions will be remembered for the generations to come. During my tenure as a Secretary of Supreme Court Bar Association, whenever we met you, Lordship, you always welcomed us with warm smile and you listened carefully to our problems and gave, uh, gave us uh, guardian, uh, guidance and, and work to solve the problems with the great respect lordship and one thing more important lordship no one can stop your journey your lordship you are a visionary leader thank you for thank being you. exceptional chief justice of India that this Just one more, one more. Your lordship, I request brother Khanna to your lordship, your lordship, a judicial statesman. To my mind, well. yes. your lordship, a judicial statesman. To my mind, and your lordship, jurisprudence uh, intelligence uh, will be scintillating over the years across the globe, in line with Justice John Marshall and the Lord Justice Lord Denning, your lordship. I am privileged, your lordship. I feel myself privileged to attend your first day in, the, in this honourable court. My Lordship took oath and asked Mr. Harish Sal, who I present with me, to what, what is the age of uh, this uh, honorable judge? And he said, uh, <laughs> you just just guess it. So, Your Lordship, uh, uh, we already missed the rabbi, Your Lordship, younger looks, and uh, as, as well as Your Lordship, uh, you right, Your Lordship, uh, presence hearing, the, my, my president already said that a limitless here, presence here, Lordship. So, that's why I very much of life, Lordship, and best of apology. Lads, you will see your lordships legacy, my lords. My lords, your lordships will see your legacy, my lords, and the world and the nation will see your lordships legacy, my lords, in times to come, in decades to come, my lords. Twenty-five years from now, this court will have a lot more women practicing here, and the seeds have been sown in your lordships period, my lords. May your lordships stay forever young, my lords. Great, great. <laughs> but last but not the least, my lord, what we experienced was this was justice tempered with mercy, my lord. That's what we all felt when every order that was dictated. So I just want to convey that. Thank you. Thank you very much. I'll request Brother uh, Justice Khanna to take What do I say after everybody has spoken? <laughs> well, I didn't have the occasion to appear before him. <laughs> <laughs> but I've been on his side, and I can say he's left my task easy and difficult. Easy because he's done so many, brought forth so many changes, made it so many, so much efforts, infrastructure, digital technology, information technology, data, and the setup we have in form of research and planning. Made my task difficult because it's very difficult to come up to him. And that's going to be, he's going to be, I'm going to sorely miss him on that account. Uh, I can tell you two more things. Uh, I just went to the chamber. And I got saw some letters written by young boys and girls, beautifully drawn and painted cards, wishing him well. And that shows that what he has contributed and done is not confined within the four corners of this building. It's much beyond that. These were boys and girls from uh, who were deprived and from difficult backgrounds, and the affection and they showed in the cards reflects the true feelings. The second thing is, uh, 
this ever usefulness is not only known here but even abroad. <laughs> I had we had gone to Australia and he joined through video conferencing. So almost everybody came up to me. What is his age? <laughs> so uh, the other thing is, uh, in order to be like him, it's very difficult. He's a vegan. He gets up at four four thirty in the morning. And he doesn't take, he doesn't have food, Ex except for the fact that he likes uh, samosas. <laughs> he offers us very often when he has, the, when he have a meeting, doesn't have anything else. And he gives you everything to eat, so we catch on to it. <laughs> but he leaves behind a cot, which is much better, much uh, more thriving. The younger members of the bar are now part and parcel of this. Look at the number of seniors who have come about. It gives them an opportunity now to go and accept. Data Pat, Mitty Cafe, the women lawyers are today almost neck to neck, not better. So okay. wish him all the best. And uh, I'm sure he has lots of things in his mind, right? From music to hiking to cricket. And uh, sometimes also writing something, hopefully nice for us. Thank you and wish you all the best. Thank you very much, Rabbi uh, Justice Khanna, a very dear personal friend, Sanjeev, as I call him, and we are together. If you just look in their designate. Last evening, when my registrar judicial uh, asked me what time the ceremonial bench should be uh, listed for, uh, he said, Sir, we'll list it at two o'clock. How many matters do you want to do? And I said, I'll do as many as we can. We should at least have 50 cases for the morning because we shouldn't be wasting any, any moment of the great opportunity which we have in this court to do justice. And why would I want to lose even the last day of my tenure as a judge here uh, to be able to be of service to our citizens? But then we decided to fix it at 2 o'clock the night I was a little worried because I said it's a Friday afternoon and for all I know and from my experience of this court by two o'clock the court would be completely empty and I'd be probably looking at myself on that big screen but really I'm humbled by all or the presence of all of you distinguished senior members of the bar the law officers the attorney general the solicitor general such uh, Distinguished seniors who have come here, uh, former judges of the High Court, members of the bar among the women, including the seniors, so many juniors who have uh, walked the talk in my court. I don't think I have to say much because in Marathi, as they say, I would have definitely put on a couple of kilograms of weight by all that you have said. If I were to come back to the court tomorrow, I would sure be a puffed up face and a puffed up nose, and I'd be, I wouldn't be thinking a great deal about myself. Now, even if I do, it doesn't matter because I'm not going to be delivering justice tomorrow. Uh, but honestly, it's been a great, a great honor to be sitting in this court. Uh, when I was young, I would come and sit at the end of the, the last row in this court, watch the greats of the bar argue, and learn so much about how to argue, how to behave in court, court craft, how to acquire substantive knowledge of the law. And then, of course, these two great portraits. There was no, not a day in my life as a Chief Justice, and even before that, when I sat with Chief Justices in this court, and I didn't quickly glance at the two portraits in this court, just as we did in Mumbai when we glanced at the portrait of Chief Justice uh, Mr. Chagla. Uh, because that was the Chagla court, and we felt that there was this overpowering presence. But the overpowering presence of the two greats of this court was, in that sense, a great, uh, a great uh, sober, uh, a sobering reflection for all of us that there are limits which you cannot transcend. And the one cause in which we are involved in this court is the cause of ultimate justice to the citizens. We are here as pilgrims. And, you know, birds of passage, we come for a short while and then we leave. But the work which we do can either make or mar the institution. Uh, of course, none of us is that important that, you know, you feel that, well, 
uh, the court is not going to survive without me because I've been great judges who've come here in the past. They've passed on the baton to succeeding generation. And that's something which sustains the institution of different people with diverse viewpoints coming into the court and passing the baton along. So I'm sure that, uh, you know, my leaving uh, in another two minutes from here is not going to make the slightest difference to the court. And particularly because I know the person who is going to lead this court after me is somebody who is so stable, so solid, and so committed to the cause of justice as uh, Justice Sanjeev Khanna. So I leave the court with that sense of uh, uh, a sense of happiness that, you know, the person who is going to come and sit here from Monday is a person who is so uh, so dignified, so aware of the position of the court in the wider social and political life, the historical perspective of this court. I spent the last two years uh, sitting in this court with uh, Brother Justice Pardiwala and Brother Justice Manoj Mishra. Three of us are in so many ways so similar, but in so many ways we bring to each other's lives that element of diversity because we had such wonderful uh, times together on the bench, uh, cutting jokes, talking the talk, uh, working very, very seriously on some matters. Uh, even the smallest matters where we had a video conferencing uh, exchange with someone in our chambers, it would be always serious talk on what was best in the interest of that particular family or that person who was before us. But overall, I think uh, just being in this court, right from you know the Noida courts, as we call them among the members of the bench, down to the first five courts and now the Chief Justice's court, has been an enormously, enormously sustaining and enriching thing. You ask me, you know, what keeps me going? It's this court which has kept me going. Because there's not a single day when you feel that you have not learned something, that you have not had an opportunity to serve uh, society. And there's no greater feeling for a judge than to be able to serve those in need and uh, people you would never meet, people you possibly don't even know of people whose lives you have the ability to touch without ever having seen them. But that's the great joy and charm of uh, judgeship which I've followed over the last 24 years through the ups and downs. And then to imagine that I'd actually walked to the Chief Justice in 1999, early 2000, and said, can you please relieve me of this obligation of becoming a judge? And Chief Justice Sabarwal told me, wait for a week. And uh, that week changed my life. So I'll conclude by thanking all of you each one of you, believe me, each one of you has taught me so much that I didn't know about law and more importantly, what I didn't know about life. Because in all that all of you said to me in the court, I learned so much about life. I learned so much about life today. I mean, those 45 matters which we did. There's no case which is similar to an earlier case. So in every case that you decide here, you learn so much about what's happening in society, what's happening across the nation, and the importance of the position of this court to sustain the faith of common citizens in the work which we do. If I've ever hurt any one of you here in the court, sometimes even I can get irritable. Alpana tells me that all the time. Only she can put up with someone like me. But, but if I've ever hurt any one of you, I would like to uh, just say, Nikshami Dukadam, please forgive me for. Uh, something which I didn't intend to ever uh, say or do, which may have uh, hurt you. And thank you very much for coming in such large numbers. I know at the end of it all, it's been really worth it for me every moment. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.